Hello everybody and welcome to the tutorial on how to create a green screen video using your green screen mock-up template that you created in Dropmark. And this tutorial is using the software Camtasia Studio. The first thing we need to do is to import our media. So you will go to the location that you saved your drop mock green screen image. If you watched video number one, we created this drop mock image and we are going to import it by selecting to open it and adding it to the Camtasia Studio interface. Once I have it here, I can left click and hold and drag it down to timeline one. So it adds the image and now I need to open it by dragging from the corners to fit this box which is the actual video size. So in this case here you can even stretch it and now I have my drop mark green screen image in to work with. So the first thing I want to do is to select the visual properties. Now in most cases when we scroll down and click to remove an image you have to hit the drop down and select the color so you get the eyedropper and when you click your screen you now have a transparent area to add a video. So I'm going to import from the media. I'm going to go to my videos. I'm going to select open. After I select a video and here's the name of the video and I'm going to click to open and that will add the video. So now I can left click and hold and drag the video down and as you can see it puts the video over the image. So the first thing we want to do is test the video. It's working. Now the next thing we want to do is go back to visual properties where we can rotate the video or angle the video. In this particular template the wall is at a 45 degree angle so we need to angle the video. So by selecting down and keep clicking until the video is angled at the same angle of the wall where we're placing the video. Once I'm comfortable where the video is I can either drag it out from the corner or I can drag it out from the side and we move that video so it fits over the window. Now if we go down to our timeline and we simply move the video down to track one and move the mock-up image to track two and slide the video underneath you see the video is now within the screen and I can click to play. If I think the angle of the video is right but I need to move the video up or down, I can simply click to rotate the video to fit to where I feel that I want the video to be. And once that is done, you can bring it back and then you could take the green screen image and drag it out to be the same length of the video and then you can click to play your video. Now, if I'm happy with this, all I have to do is go to File, Produce and Share, and I need to MP4 only, and I can go ahead and save that. But now I'm going to cancel out. I'm going to show you another neat trick. Let's say I wanted to put somebody or another video here. I can click on Import Video. 
I could find videos that I want to use. So in this instance, let me take a video and it adds the video here. Okay, so now I want to add this video to the timeline and scroll in and as you can see the video now takes up the full window but I'm going to crop it by selecting the crop tool and I'm going to remove all the unnecessary stuff except the green screen by cropping it in and now I can move this video and I can hit the crop tool again to go out of the crop and now I'm able to resize the video and I can come in and if I go back to the visual properties I can select again to remove the green and take that eyedropper and remove that green and then I can play with the tolerance to remove any excess green I can play with the softness of the video you can play with the colors within the video and when you figure that you're happy with where you want the color and and to remove any excess green from that video you can click Please the video on North Armenia Avenue in Tampa every Friday starting at 9 you will be able to dance to the best in salsa to the touch of merengue and bachata again for more information call Vivian Soto 407-516-5998 every Friday at Palladium see you there now I can stop the video at the end of this video and I can drag in the green screen and the end of the first video and now I can take this video and I can save it and I can select a save it in 1080p mp4 which can be used anywhere and go next and select a folder if you're not happy with this folder and you can name it and you can click to finish to save that video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you can create images and use Camtasia Studio to produce your green screen video. Thank you for watching.